Hi, my name is Olga and this is Experts on Talks. Today we will speak with Patrick Hi. about CMSs and how to choose the right one for your business. But first, let's watch intro. Are you ready, Patrick, to answer the first and the most important question of this talk? I think yes. What is CMS? What's and <laughs> what are the types of CMSs? <laughs> okay, uh, so the CMS is a content management system, and the system allows us to, you know, to create new files, new content, edit actually existing content, or delete it. And uh, you know it's the best solution for people who are not uh, developers, are not a technical person, but, but still want you know the, the manage content mm -hmm. on the on the CMS. And uh, of course we have a lot of different types of CMSs. For example, we have we, we have a eCMS is an enterprise management system. You know, and these solutions it totally depends on the on, on the company. Mm -hmm. We have a, a document management system, like on the name. In this type of CMS, you can manage the document, create a document, adding, you know, the assigned document for the correct person mm -hmm. or printed uh, this document. So it's, I think it's a good stuff for some, you know, the business. And of course, we have a standard CMS. Standard, I mean, the CMS when you can uh, manage the web content. So it's a W CMS. Of course, <laughs> it's not it's not enough because we still can divide uh, the CMS for the two different way. The first way is a monolith CMS, like WordPress, Drupal, Jomla, or some solution for shops, like for example Presta Shops or or, Ma, or Magento. Mm -hmm. And on another hand, we have the headless CMS, like Graph CMS, or uh, the most popular solution. Uh, when we're talking about the headless, it's a strapping. And the two difference between these two solutions uh, is what uh, we have when we decide for the for the monolith the CMS, standard CMS, and the new type headless CMS. I mean, when you decided to use the headless CMS, you have only admin panel. Mm -hmm. And when you decide uh, to the, use the full CMS, you have the, of course, admin panel, because it's ob obligatory part each CMS, but also you have the integrate database, you have uh, some uh, user views, you have the place, shops, when you can buy the extensions or install extensions, plugins for free. The same situation we have uh, when we're talking about the times or skins. So the full CMS, you know, it's a package. But when you use the full CMS, you, uh, you, will, you will have a package and you're in, in easy way and uh, you can manage the, the website. I think this is the main difference between and uh, be between CMSs. What are the main aspects we have to pay attention to to choose the right CMS for for us, for our business? <laughs> oh, guys, it's a simple eh. question. Yeah, yeah, it's a good question. It's <laughs> a, questions. Yeah, it's a simple question, but the answer is not it's not very simple uh, because, like always, it depends. It depends of the clients. It depends of the budget. It depends of the client's budget. Needs, customers yeah, needs. Yeah, customers needs, uh, exactly. So, for example, if you are the small company, very small company, mm -hmm. you are a startup, in my opinion the WordPress can be even the best so uh, the better solution than Strapi because you know it's uh, you can you know the create the, the the website for a few hours and if you are only need uh, some basic you know uh, basic solution you want to have the only basic information mm -hmm. on your website the WordPress is it's totally enough but if you want to have some more complicated things mm -hmm. you know uh, because the WordPress uh, is not the best solution for uh, for bigger uh, for bigger company mm -hmm. because it's you know because it's slow slow yeah yeah w w WordPress is slow so that's why for example if you want to have uh, build the shop mm -hmm. of course we have some uh, some CMSs preparing for 
uh, preparing for uh, for creating uh, for create the shop, like for example Magento or or, or, or PrestaShop, mm-hmm. the performance of these uh, solutions is not good. And for example, if another company uses the other solution, like for example Strapi, and uh, on the front end uh, use I don't know React View or or some modern solution, mm-hmm. the position in Google search it will be higher. So in this mean this uh, this company will have more clients and you know they earn more money mm-hmm. so i think but a... wait you said that wordpress is mm-hmm. slow yes but wait more than half of all pe- websites mm-hmm. are on wor- wordpress in the internet you want to say that every website is has bad performance and could be better if while being on strapi for example Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah it's no maybe uh, like I said for the basic solution WordPress is okay, but for the more complicated, not, mm. not. And of uh, of course I know that WordPress maybe it's has at the moment about the 40% percent of on websites on on the on the market uh, because you know this is the old solution. The people like uh, WordPress. You know the first WordPress release was in May 2000. Uh, Five or three? I, I I don't remember. So a lot of a lot of uh, some time ago. Yes, yeah, age ago, and uh, so this is a reason why the WordPress is so popular. Yeah, but I know that is intuitive and easy to use for just a regular user. Yeah, for right? the uh, exactly because uh, the WordPress uh, like a solution have a very good, in my opinion, very good the uh, admin panel. Mm-hmm. But uh, <laughs> you know it's. It's not the best solution. That was a very good solution a few years ago. They have a great UX experience, and but for now the Strapi uh, also has a, v- a very good experience. And and if uh, it's happened because sometimes if you show how the Strapi looks like on the admin panel and you know show your client the client view, okay, it's 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 not bad. Okay, so for example, I have some cases like this. Uh, I work uh, I work in WordPress and then show my, uh, my client. Uh, strappy and you know I show how it looks like and they say okay it's 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 a good uh, good solution and so we will show you how it looks here yeah like you see in uh, the standard uh, the co- uh, admin panel in WordPress and in strappy is m- maybe it, you know it's not very similar but it's similar It's similar. So, for for example, if someone works previously in WordPress, it's not a, it's not uh, for these people. It's not a big deal to change the change the behavior and change the uh, change the uh, admin panel CMS. Mm-hmm. And for performance, for safety, uh, for I don't know, for the CEO, it's definitely will be better. Why did you choose uh, WordPress and Strapi? to compare uh, why because you know the WordPress is the the most popular solution uh, when we're talking about the monolith CMS and the, on the other hand we have the strapi it is the the best and the, the most uh, popular solution also in the when we're talking about the headless CMS okay so to choose we have to understand our needs our budget and all the stuff but to implement the solution we need an implementation partner mm-hmm. right definitely what this implementation partner has to do maybe we can do it by ourselves of course if you use the for example wordpress you can you can do by yourself mm-hmm. but if you definitely if you want to have a good product you have to you know to call to us to call to the front end house and we can help you and and tell you why because uh, because we have the old process for for our clients so we have the workshop team we have the ux ui team we have the ceo team and of course we have the we, we have the development team so we can help you to find the best solution for you for your business you know even if you choose the wordpress for example then strapi mm-hmm. the the implementation partner it will be very helpful for you the Mm, the main difference between these two solutions is when when you will be need this partner, the implementation partner. Because, like you said, mm-hmm. uh, you can do it by yourself uh, some some work. But after that, if you want to have some more complicated things, you want to have or modify actually existing mm-hmm. features, you you will have to you know call to us, contact with us, and we have to you know the you 
the, the business, our business partner have to come to us and we will need some time to recognize what's going on in this code, to, how can we help you. Mm -hmm. And f on another hand, when you use the Strapi, the implementation pattern will be uh, important for you at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And then when we create the best solution for you, because when you use Strapi, we create for you the you know the personal uh, application. Mm -hmm. This this will be a personal admin panel. You so mean that it is um, based on our needs, right? Exactly, exactly. For future, mm -hmm. you will uh, th that will be the better solution mm -hmm. for, for you. But what are the differences between WordPress and Strapi? Just to know. Mm, the main difference? Yeah. Like I said at the beginning, you know, the, the WordPress, like I said, is a monolith. So we have all stuff, all necessary stuff to display website, for example, on, on the internet. And another hand, we have the Strapi, when we can decide what kind of solution we can implement and what solution will be the best for our client, for mm -hmm. the client business. And this is the, the main difference. And for the developer perspective, the strap is the best at the moment, as the, as the best, trust me, because... Trust me, I'm a developer. Yeah, trust me, I'm the developer. And, <laughs> you know, at the, moment, uh, at the moment, at the moment, I'm the React developer, but uh, several years I, I was a WordPress developer. Yeah, and uh, I created a few different plugins, temps for clients. So we have the perfect person for today. Yeah, interview. and, you know, and at the moment I, uh, I prefer Strapi than WordPress because we have the more freedom and uh, you know it's, it's it's a better modern solution and if you still don't uh, don't know what kind of you know cms will be better for you so maybe the next sentence is it will be uh, very helpful wordpress is the most hacking cms in this world at the moment hacking hacking yeah we have a lot of uh, hacker attacks for the uh, mm. uh, websites built in wordpress uh, so it's about safety too. yeah it's about safety and why because it's so popular so for example hackers can create for one solution and you know send for a lot of different places on the internet and try to find you know some space when uh, our application is not if strapi will be as popular as wordpress that will be a lot of uh, hacker attacks too it's possible, but I don't think so. Because please remember the Strapi is an individual solution and, and WordPress no. So it means if a WordPress engine has some security gaps, every website use WordPress has these gaps. Mm -hmm. And when we're talking about the Strapi, no, because it is individual. Mm -hmm. It's a personal solution. Yeah. And it's a personal solution. So this is a reason why it will be definitely safer safer than uh, than wordpress and you know the main the biggest problem mm -hmm. when you're talking about the wordpress it's uh, extensions it's a uh, plugins because wordpress like strapi is an open source solution mm -hmm. and every developers can write your own plugins like for example me and if the plugins it's uh, has some bugs the your app your web too. will have mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so so personal solutions are more safe just exactly mm -hmm. Because they are individual. And what about marketing and uh, SEO characteristics? What about marketing and SEO characteristics? It's a good question. Yeah, like always, it depends what kind of you know the the web we, we will have or our client have. Like I said on before, the WordPress has a bad performance. You know, it's it depends of the PHP version. Mm -hmm. It depends of the server. It depends uh, and uh, for a lot of a lot of external things. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's an old solution. And for example, WordPress still use the jQuery library. So it's extension from the JavaScript. But you know, every time when you open this website, the, the library has to be load. So it takes time. So performance is not so good. And the results on the search, it's, it's not so high as can be when you will use the, uh, another uh, solution like, like Strapi. And for the SEO, I think at the moment performance, uh, especially on the mobile devices is the most important things from Google results. This is a main reason why I'm not uh, choose the WordPress at the moment. But maybe there are some gaps. WordPress is better <laughs> or not? Or Strapi is absolutely is a leader? No, it's uh, Strapi is a leader when, we, when we're talking about the headless CMS. But uh, the WordPress definitely is the, the best solution when, and the most popular solution 
uh, because it's not the best, mm -hmm. because we have this safer uh, solution than on the monolith CMS, for example, Drupal, but it's not so popular. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're talking about the WordPress at the moment. Why do you think it is not popular? Because um, the admin panel on the Drupal, it's not uh, as easy to use like uh, uh, like on the like on the WordPress, and people I don't know people don't like uh, use the Drupal. Drupal has a problem because have a uh, you know the competition of the Drupal okay. mm -hmm. strong uh, competitors. Yeah, yeah, WordPress. the Drupal has a strong competitors like WordPress. Mm -hmm. You know, we talking we still talking about uh, about the same type of CMS. Mm -hmm. So that's why the WordPress win this this battle a lot of years ago and. And so. You have a lot of experience in the field of CMSs. Maybe you can give some tips or advice uh, to people who just want to choose the right CMS for their business. In short, of course. In in in, in short I version. have time. <laughs> We can listen. <laughs> I know you have a lot of time. <laughs> advice for for the company uh, yeah. who want to choose the prefer the best solution for 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 the business. If your budget is small. And you, of course, that um, you have, you don't have a lot of time for, for create the the, the personal solution, and you want to display only the basic uh, description on your website. The in in this case, I will prefer WordPress. For another, no, I know it will be, for example, it, it will be strange for the company, the big company, to use the old. Uh, technology, <laughs> especially if we're talking about you know some modern agency, the IT, uh, uh, you know the IT, or even our our front end house. You now it, it will be strange when we when we will be talking about the strap is up is the best, and we will use the the WordPress. No, no, it's not working mm -hmm. like this. So, mm -hmm. and I have next question for you. So WordPress mm -hmm. is like how how many years? Fifteen. More. Yeah, more, more, more than 15 years on the market. Mm -hmm. Do you think that it will become outdated finally because it is still used and it still works? But maybe in few years it will lose its power. I don't think so. It will, it will be still popular, but uh, you know, the, still we have the new WordPress release. Like I said, the first release was in March or May. 2005, uh, so it's a long time, mm -hmm. long time, time ago. Mm -hmm. uh, but of course, we at the moment we use the totally different version of of the WordPress engine. So, so it's not like this. It's we still use the same solution, but the, we still use the same technology, and this is the problem mm -hmm. in WordPress. We still use the PHP. We still use the use the jQuery library. We still use. Uh, open source, you know, extensions, and uh, people like it. But like I said, it's not safe mm -hmm. solution. Mm -hmm. It's not a good for performance. And even if, for example, someone likes uh, admin panel on uh, on the WordPress, and you know, they install a lot of extensions, mm -hmm. the admin panel it's not uh, it's not good looking at the moment. And the and the UX and UI on this on this panel, you know, it's. It's changed and it's not a good for for even for people who like WordPress, mm -hmm. really. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you for answers today. If you have more questions to Patrick, you can ask them in the comment sections. Comment sections or please contact us on the front end house uh, contact form. You will find it on our website and see you soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye.